thanks Mahendra. As a very clear presentation. Um, so now I think we'll move on to questions if anyone uh, has any. Uh, we have a few minutes for questions if anyone has any now. Uh, Steve has a question. Thank you, Adrian. Uh, that was a very nice talk, uh, Mahendra. Um, I have a question on when you're trying to do something like stably stratified or convective turbulence. Mm -hmm. Of course, the, the, the system is very anisotropic. And so yes. the, the, the behavior of the, say, the vertical velocities and the horizontal velocities, they scale mm -hmm. in different ways and they scale differently with different wave numbers. They... And your theory seems to kind of have, you know, transfer as a function of just one wave number K. So can you say, is it possible to kind of back out theories for, for the kind of individual transfers, as it were? Yeah, yeah. So it's a very nice uh, question. Um, so one thing is that uh, this fear, uh, when we talk about flux, so one point is flux is defined for anisotropic as well as isotropic because it's a energy going from a sphere. You know? I mean, uh, we we beat uh, isotropic, so that is defined. Though uh, it doesn't pick up uh, the theta dependence. Yeah. Okay. So that's one point. So it's a it's a reasonable language. It's not isotropic, but it's defined quantity. Now, few points that thermal convection is reasonably isotropic. It was very surprising for us, but uh, for free slip, we analyze it in great detail and we find that this analogy with hydrodynamics. So if I go away from the boundary layer, the bulk flow is reasonably isotropic. That's because of the analogy with hydrodynamics. Um, uh, only for very large prandial numbers, viscous flows, it tends to become more anisotropic, but for prandial number one and small prandial number is very isotropic. Stably stratified flows, I completely agree, it's totally anisotropic. Uh, with strong uh, gravity uh, thing. And Bolzio Nabokov does not work. I think we need the framework for uh, flux for the per component, flux for parallel component. Right. That's one way to do it, uh, which is, uh, I mean, we have something on that one I can share with you after the talk. Yeah. And the second thing is we have called ring spectrum and ring, uh, so we can make right. rings. I think there's some work uh, done by some other group like uh, 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 in France. But yeah. uh, we have been doing this uh, quite regularly on rings. We can make rings as the theta dependence comes out quite nicely. Right. And the same must be true for like strong field MHD turbulence as well. Then, I guess. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah. that, that is so strong anisotropy. We need to go to rings or per parallel and, and combination. I think this, uh, yeah. Okay. Thanks, Mahendra. Thank you, Steve. So, Chris, I think you had a question. Yeah. Have you got, uh, um, can you hear me? Am I on yes, yes, I can. Yeah. No, well, I can hear you, please. Good, good. My, my question is about um, the, just the convection part of it, yes, where you found mm -hmm. that the, uh, there was really constant flux, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yes, for yes. the purely Rayleigh Baynard convection, yes. Right, right, I mean, right. that, that, that is quite surprising at high Rayleigh number, isn't it? Because at high Rayleigh number, you expect um, a buoyant input at all wave numbers, don't you? So, so actually what happens is, yeah. so, so low prandial number and moderate prandial number. Yeah. So prandial number one, it turns out the, so for low prandial number, you can see that there's large scale, very large scale thermal plumes are driving the flow. Yeah. It yeah. also happens for prandial number one, the plumes are of bigger size. So yes. It's similar to Kolmogor picture. But yes, when the prandial number is large or viscous kind of thing in earth mental, then the plumes are kind of thin plumes which are trying to drive it. Right, yes. There, so it course, is... theory does not work and uh, it's a viscous part. So Kolmogorov theory will not work for uh, for large prandial number. And right. so, I, so it doesn't work. So, so it, it only works is... for prandial number one and sort of smaller prandial numbers. Yes, yeah. yes. One and below. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, water yeah. is good for 6.8, I think it's good, but not beyond that, yes. Yeah, it's, it, that's interesting. I mean, it, I mean, just linear theory would just suggest that you'd get input at all, all wave numbers, though, even at low Prandtl number, but that's not the case. So That's yeah. not the case. That's the, in fact, we can derive, I mean, uh, so yeah. I just make a remark that for yeah, very low Prandtl number or Prandtl number zero, UZ is Laplace and theta. Yes, 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 so yes, yes. Theta yes. is UZ by K squared. <laughs> And the forcing will be u z theta, which will be like pretty steep function of a wave number. 
Yeah. That's from yeah. there, user Peter. So oh, very that's, that's... And analytically, we can show this. And that's what right. Pankaj Mishra uh, and uh, uh, we did this many years back. So for low frontal number, I'm very confident there is a case. But moderate frontal number two, this seems to be working fine, which is uh, somewhat yeah. surprising, but it works. Right. Yeah, right. Thank you. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Interesting. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. Has anyone got any other questions? Yes, David, do you have a question? Yeah, David has I was just interested in, in what you said about drag reduction, Mahendra, and whether, yeah. is, is that a feature of an imposed field, turbulence in an imposed field, or, is, or do you get what you were calling drag reduction even in a, um, a, a field driven just by a dynamo? So, so my, well, I mean, so, I believe it is for without magnetic field, without external field at all, it, it should work. With external field also, it should it, it works. So, um, so we did a shell model. Uh, so we were not able to do. I mean, the referee insisted that we should show it. Uh, so we did the shell model for same injection rate. We looked at uh, in shell model, of course, there is no external field. So U dot grad U uh, in hydrodynamics and U dot grad U in MHD. We found that U dot grad U for MSD was lower than U dot grad U for hydro for same injection rate, which was I was trying to argue from that uh, schematic picture. For so that is what we show in shell model. In Dynamo, actually, I actually uh, if you can still after this talk, or I can I have another screen I can share it with you. Or shall I share it? It'll take one minute. Uh, sure, uh, Adrian, can I? Uh, yeah, sure. So Please. let me share that screen and uh, give another talk I had to give in a conference. So I will just share that screen and uh, give that example. And uh, so I just give me one minute. Yeah, so this is a, this is our application in Dynamo. In fact, the, this is a paper we just discussed some time back, uh, David, uh, when we were discussing the afternoon. Right. So, so the Dynamo was basically uh, pretty small. There was no Dynamo, then there's some fluctuation. So EU was uh, fluctuating around, but this is basically no Dynamo uh, fluctuation. But when the magnetic field kicked on here, then kinetic energy increased at the average kinetic energy, EU. And it became, the field became kind of less fluctuating. Right, you can see that from this picture. This is a Taylor Green Dynamo. I mean, this is work done by Yadav, uh, Rakesh. So here basically it's like, a, I'm getting the mean, like what is drag reduction in a, in a pipe flow? So we put it in polymers and the velocity can, in fact, in increases compared to uh, without, uh, without the polymers. So we are getting this picture here. So velocity increased and it becomes more streamlined. And these were example, which uh, is an interesting example, I believe supports drag reduction in MHD. Now, again, this is a new idea. I know, I mean, it'll be nice if you can come up with some examples. So this example I dug out uh, from old paper in 2012. And the other one is uh, this again work done by Sandeep Reddy. I guess he was in Leeds. I'm not sure whether. Uh, so uh, this is a liquid metal simulation. And when you increase the, uh, uh, this V0, uh, 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 that uh, like what is said about external field, then the field becomes, velocity field becomes more smooth. And we have the numbers. Uh, when you increase the induction, uh, this uh, interaction parameter or V0, the well, U prime increases with uh, with uh, with uh, increase of n. Now, normally, it's used thing that when increase B naught, the U should decrease, right? Uh, it should be kind of uh, suppression of uh, turbulence. Well, I think supp suppression of turbulence uh, is related to increase of U. So it's very interesting that nonlinear term decreases, but the U increases. Yeah, so I mean, it, it is interesting. It's a bit like in, in rotation, isn't it? When you, you, off, you offset the rotation with the field and then everyone, everyone likes it and everyone increases, but this is, this is different. It's a different forcing, but it must be something similar. Yes, yes, so it's something, so decrease the nonlinear term, but the velocity field is more in rotating fluid so because it's yeah. more streamlined. And so it is something similar is happening in indeed these several examples and uh, it could be nice to do some more uh, clear cut simulation to demonstrate this. That's what uh, we like to do. Mm -hmm. Or if you have some examples, it would be nice to, like in rotation, I think it would be nice. Rotation also decreases uh, drag. I mean, I think it would be nice, nice trick to, to see. And it probably would, would could, could actually, I will not say would, but would. Okay, thanks Mahendra.
Thank you, David. So um, I think we should thank Mahendra for, for his seminar uh, and his questions for com coming all the way from, uh, from his house in India um, to give a seminar in Leeds. Uh, so we thank uh, Mahendra again. Uh, so uh, next week, um, uh, so I'll send around the email about the seminar for next week and the next day or so. So uh, yeah, thank you, Mahendra. Thank you, Adrian, for the invitation and uh, we'll, yeah, I'll meet you again sometime.